chick adding some color to your world. Don't give me the time of day. Don't even look my way. I don't know no English. And therefore, I don't exist. Barbies were made by, but never modeled after my kind. Brush the blonde hair and gaze into those blue eyes, bleaching my black hair and putting in those blue contacts, thinking I'd land the, the starring role if I just looked like that. Just They called me exotic definition for an object from the outside. Well, to me, they're on the outside, but I can't rewrite the dictionary or the labels now, can I? Mother looked down at me with a condescending smile. Oh no, my dear little geisha, little nanny, little mail order bride, like your Barbies, we just manufacture the pens that they use to write our identities with. And with that, the little girl took a 12-pack of labels from her parents' office drawer and labeled her dolls E-G-G-S-O-H-T-I-C-K, exotic. Um, and what I was thinking about with this poem was that modern-day colonialism exists in the media, in language, in dialogue, in the subtleties of social interaction, and begins to shape our self-concept even prior to becoming literate. So just be aware of exoticization and othering, and don't let anyone dictate your frame of reference, because perspective is everything. Woo!